All right, it's chip of the day. People love chip of the day. We have a 4008, 4008. Uh, sometimes there's a one in the front, MC. Sometimes there's a CD in the front, CD4008. It's a 4008 part. Um, and it is CMOS and it is a 4-bit full adder. I don't think we've uh, featured full adders or any kind of adder, actually. There's half adders and full adders. We'll talk about that. This one is a full adder. Well, what does it do? Well, it's four bits. So it takes these four bits and it takes these four bits and it adds them together and gives you the result. So it adds, it adds bits. Um, and let's see here. Yeah, here's a block, a block diagram. So you bring in um, A, one, two, three, four, B, one, two, three, four. So A is one number, B is the other number. And then the output is S1234. So these added together give you these, right? So one four bit number equals one four bit number. And uh, here's a truth table. All right. And we'll, we'll make it go and it'll make, it'll make more sense. Now, there's also a carry. What happens if you have a carry? Well, if you add these two numbers together and they add up, you know how when you, when you, you, know, you need to carry when you're adding stuff, well, there's a carry. So you, you carry into the next digit and then you carry into the next digit. What if you want to cascade these? Well, there's a carry out and then you can take that to other parts and use the carry in, which is down here, there's a carry in. So that, carry is actually the difference between a half adder and a full adder. All right, let's take a look at, let's take a look at that first. So this is the gates that are required to do a half adder, A plus B equals S. And it also generates a carry, okay? So if, if, you, if you don't need to generate a carry, this is your adder, but it, when you generate a carry, this is what you got. Now, if you want to turn that into a full adder, you do this. Now you have A, B plus whatever carry that you have and A plus B plus carry equals this condition. So this is a full adder. That was a half adder. This is a full adder. So this is going to be in the part. In fact, uh, let's see, data sheet. Yeah. Uh, this is what's actually, is it all on camera? This is actually what's in the part. It's actually quite complicated. Uh, you got a whole bunch of adders and then, uh, if they all add up, you have to have a carry out, right? So you need to have something that can and all these three bits. So if all these three bits are set and then you add one more to that, that generates the carry. So you have 16 or 15. Then the next one is 16, you have to bring this carry out. So that's all what all this gobbledygook's doing up here. And all the rest is just full adders. All right. So, and here's how you do the, the carry. Just run the carry, carry outs and the carry ins. And then you can make eight, 16, how many ever bits you want to add, they will add. So I got one built here. So let's go ahead and hook it up. Okay, let me explain what I have here first. I've got one dip switch that's the A value, one dip switch that's the B value, so it's gonna be A plus B, and that's gonna generate some number which will be displayed in bits over here. And in case you can't read binary, I put a little uh, hex display over here just for fun. All right, so let's go ahead and hook it up. Uh, so we have, uh, we have, gobbledygook. How come it didn't wake up correctly? Hmm. Hmm. I have one floating pin. Maybe I need to do something with that pin. Let's see. Uh, that's the blanking pin. Oh, there it is. Just a loose wire. Just a loose wire. Not to worry. Okay. So, uh, zero plus zero equals zero. Zero plus one equals one. Uh, three plus one equals four. Three plus three equals six. Uh, let's see here. Seven plus two equals, no. Seven plus three equals A. So seven, eight, nine, ten in decimal, in hexadecimal is A. All right. And then if we add, 
add in some more, and then we'll finally get a uh, a six plus a carry. And this little LED right, this little LED right here is the carry. So there's uh, let's see, here. there's no carry F. So we have F. Okay, so we have one, two, three. So we, this, this one is set to F, and I'm going to add one to it. We're going to get a zero plus a carry. That's what this LED is here, the carry. So if we had, uh, let's say, seven, and we add uh, seven, we'll get E, seven plus seven plus eight, is the F condition, and then seven plus nine gives us a zero and a carry. Anyway, there you go. Cute little circuit. There's just a bunch of pull down resistors and then the dip switches uh, are all tied high. So it just, it makes it either a one or a zero on the input of the device, which is hiding right down there. Okay, so there's our device. This is our device underneath. And uh, it's also a Hewlett Packard device. It's an 1890-0926. And strangely enough, um, if we take this part out uh, and we put it into a IC tester, and we hit enter, it can't, f it can't find it. So what we want to do here is how do you how do you do it the uh, let's see auto five volts okay we want five volts and then we want off amp we want to do let's turn this off for while I'm doing it, let's see, CD 4,000. 4, uh, 40, 40, 40, uh, 4, so we have 5 volts and 4,000. So now it should be able to find it. Should be able to find it. Enter. Fault. What do you mean fault? It's like it can't find 4,008. So like they forgot to put that one in their database. Enter. Yeah. It doesn't do it. If you do it with auto, it doesn't do it. If you do it. Anyway, it doesn't, uh, it can't find this part. Hmm. Pass the self check. Put the part in. Hit go. Yeah, not found. Anyway, 4008s are not in here. Okay, that was chip of the day. A 4-bit full adder, an MC1-4008B, or a CD-4008B. There you go.